Hey everyone, today we're gonna to go over some mat choices, all the different mat choices that we have here. There's so many to choose from and depending on what your application is, whether you're doing a large commercial gym or whether you're doing a gym in your basement, um, there is many things to consider. And it gets a little bit complicated because there's different materials, different applications, um, different sizes. All of these things we'll go over in this video so you can make a better choice to what is best for your application. So just to go over, just summarize all the different kind of mats that are available, uh, we'll start with the least expensive and we'll go to the maybe more expensive ones. Um, and just because it's the cheapest doesn't mean it's the worst. It might be the best solution for you, um, but you can decide that for yourself. But we're gonna give you all the information here to help you make that choice. So first off, we have the puzzle mat. Puzzle mats, are made of EVA foam. Um, there's different qualities of EVA foam. Um, we've chosen the best manufacturer in the world to make ours, um, and I'll show you why. But EVA foam is typically looks like this. These are small sample sizes, um, and they fit together, often called puzzle mats because, because they fit together like a puzzle. They're typically one meter by one meter or um, with a finished edge on them. Um, and they come in different different textures, different thicknesses, and all for different applications. We have the roll mat, which is typically known as a, you would, you would have seen it as a uh, wrestling mat typically, is what it, it started out as. And they've, Dolomar has been pushing the technology on these to use as application for uh, martial arts and other combat sports, and even, doing it with grass. So the roll mat is light, uh, easy to move, easy to install for permanent or temporary laydowns. That's their sweet spot. We have the folding mat, which is, many would remember this from their days in high school or in the preschool gyms. Uh, they would sometimes stick them up against the wall, typically coming in a four, four foot by four foot and folding in half to make it a two by four. And those also come in three different densities for different applications. And finally, we have what is often called the tatami mat, uh, a little bit of a misnomer in then that tatami is typically made of straw, was uh, traditionally made of straw, and nowadays they're vinyl with a foam base, foam core, with oftentimes with a rubber backing like this. They come in different surfaces. So those are the, the, the basic choices we have to go over today and all different prices and all different applications. But if we give you the information, you can best decide what is best for your use. Okay, so now we come to the, um, the roll mats. The roll mats uh, traditionally were made for wrestling. Uh, many years ago, some of you will remember an old wrestling mat that used to weigh a ton. You could barely you'd take 10 of the guys on the wrestling team to roll it up and then drag it wherever you wanted to go. It was a foam, a very dense foam that was basically painted in a rubber coating, if you remember those. Well, things have changed since then. Now the foam that they use is much lighter and instead of having this paint surface on it, it's they've adhered vinyl to the top of the uh, of the foam, um, and it's specifically when they do make these, Dollarmar is the brand that we supply. It's the leader. It's North American made. It's made in the USA. Um, it's the best product on the market. And if you give it cheaper ones, uh, which we have supplied, I'm not going to lie. In years gone by, we have supplied the cheaper models but they just do not hold up. They um, tend to fall apart. Uh, the foam separates from the vinyl. That's always an issue. Um, and um, I'll, I'll tell you where the things go wrong with these is that they are basically a piece of foam with vinyl attached on the top. First off, the vinyl is heat pressed to the foam. On the less expensive brands, they are not. They are glued. And the gluing eventually comes, up, comes apart. And you, you know, if anybody's ever tried to glue something to a foam, it's almost impossible. It's a petroleum product and gluing petroleum products, you know, it just doesn't work. 
So um, what these, how these are made, and I've been to the factory to watch them, it's, a, it's open flame adhering the vinyl to the foam and it makes the world a difference. The other thing that goes wrong with these is that when you're manufacturing, if this foam is cut with a razor or a sharp edge, there's a great odds that you're gonna cut right through the vinyl. And this is also another issue. So learn from our mistake, we've distributed them, the cheaper ones, and they just don't work. They just don't work. There's gonna be problems with either the cut or the vinyl coming off, let alone, and also the quality of the vinyl. This is top grade vinyl. It's gonna make a big difference in the long run. You don't wanna waste your investment on the cheap stuff. It just doesn't work. It might, you know, like they say, um, you know, invest in quality. It's gonna last. So basically, uh, I've gone over the construction of them, what the benefits of these are. They're so light, a roll of six by 10 can be held by, you know, a small person. You know, bigger guy can hold a bigger one. And if you wanna, uh, as far as rolling them out, um, they can be rolled out and then lifted on their end uh, and then stored in the corner. So they're very light and mobile. And this works really well for the, the resting clubs uh, that are after school, they gotta roll them out. Um, or the dojo that's in a recreation center that, that doesn't have a permanent lay down or a church or wherever they are, they're rolling the mats out. Um, they just take a minute. When I was growing up, we used to lay down a hundred tatami, hundred of these every night. So you try to show up late and leave early from practice because you didn't want to get stuck uh, laying down the mat area. It was at a recreation center and that was really tough. Or the mental well-being of your club members, you do not want to be laying down 50 or 100 to Tommy a night. And I know clubs, some clubs still do that. It's very tough. Uh, but if there's no other choice, uh, that's what you got to do. But these have revolutionized that. And that, that they come in, uh, and also they come in, we mostly sell one and a half inch, but they come in two inches as well. So for example, for, for the judo application, uh, the international standard is you need to have a subfloor underneath your tatami. Well, if you get a two inch mat, you don't need that subfloor. So you've eliminated the problem. A, you've eliminated the problem of having a crew of 15 guys laying out your tournament area. These you just roll out and you're done. And at the end of the tournament day, after a long, 14 hours, 16 hours of a tournament. You don't need a crew, a 15 man crew to, to put them away. You just roll them up and it's, it's a lifesaver as far as that goes. Another innovation that, that Dolomar has come up with is the Velcro fasteners. So everybody remembers, again, back to the wrestling, you would tape the seams down with disposable tape um, which would last a little while. You try to reuse it, but eventually you chuck out all the tape. It's expensive for the, the uh, schools or the clubs to manage that. Um, what Dolomer has come up with is a Velcro system. So environmentally friendlier, you're not throwing away literally boxes of, of tape. Um, so if you look here, one side has a flap and the other side has the, the fuzzy hook, or fuzzy uh, loop, and the hook is on this side. And when you roll it together, you simply roll one on top of each other as you roll it out, and you get a very firm surface with a very small crack here. So this has become the standard in wrestling uh, for tournaments or for clubs or for schools. Uh, we supply uh, many different uh, high schools with this product um, even and a lot of the clubs um, a lot of the dojos are that are that are recreational dojos or temporary dojos um, at rec centers and whatnot they will use this product it's, it's it turns out great and speaking of that so you have different surfaces so you have what is often the wrestling surface it has a little bit of grip to it. It's sort of a, like an elephant skin. 
but it won't won't uh, cause mat burn. Um, and then you have also a tatami surface uh, for the more traditional people who want a more traditional club. Now we also sell this to uh, karate clubs and taekwondo clubs as well. Well, what it does allow for them is it allows those clubs to offer, hey, if you've got time slots that aren't being used, you know, the Sunday afternoons or the Saturday afternoons, and maybe there's an Aikido club that wants to use them or a judo club that wants to use your mats, you can rent out your um, dojo time to them because this does it, it's firm enough that it does allow for karate. Now, it's not a hardwood floor. If you want a hardwood floor, get a hardwood floor if you're a traditional karate club. But if you're more recreational and you want to be more diverse in your offerings as far as the martial arts, then maybe this is the mat to consider. Also, if it's a permanent laydown and you want you like this product, you can also get, which we supply, is a vinyl tape, the same vinyl that the surface is, that will cover your seams. So that what that does is you got to you have an entire area, entire dojo without a single seam. And that's a beautiful thing. It just simply lay it, it has adhesive to it, you lay it over the seams, and it makes your entire area um, seamless. And if you, if you have to tear it up, you know, pull it up once a year to clean it or whatever, you can either roll up the entire area or you can pull those seams off and it doesn't damage the exist the mat. And you can reapply that tape the vinyl tape back onto the seam after you've cleaned or you've removed your dojo or whatever. So it's a very versatile, another versatile option. Um, they also come, I mean, many people would know it from gymnastics. This is with carpet top. So we also supply carpet tops to the gymnastics clubs. Um, it's, it's, it's a very it's a it's a great service for the for for them and it's a little bit different in that it's it has a has a firm top to it it has a firm surface for gymnastics so you're not sinking in and also they've gone uh, Dalamar is also always pushing the envelope this is a yoga mat which is same idea not typically with a flexi connect on it uh, meaning sorry flexi not flexi connect it doesn't have the the uh, the Velcro or the cuts in the back, but it comes in large rolls, so there's no seams, it's an even surface, and it's ideal for yoga. So it impermeable surface, once you put the tape over top of the seams, you've got this big, beautiful area without a, se without a seam, so, and it, it's offering cushioning when you're doing yoga. Much better than just a simple yoga mat on top of your hardwoods. Um, and for the hot yoga, again, it's impervious to moisture. So you've got a great surface, easy to clean, easy to set up, uh, relatively inexpensive, and, um, and offering the cushioning, you know, for people who, instead of carrying the, the, if you're doing yoga and you need a fatter mat because your knees hurt or your joints hurt, this offers a solution for the entire, for the entire club. And also, uh, this is the grass area as well. So if you needed uh, to practice uh, field sports, this is an, also an option. You can roll it out um, to practice ball indoors in your gym um, during off season. And again, the same uh, flexi roll model has a, has the foam. It's, again, but. It, it rolls up nicely and roll to the end a little bit heavier because of the grass and also because of the foam is much denser in this product. Uh, you don't want to squish, you don't want to be running on a squishy surface. You want a firm surface, but it does allow for, um, you know, if you're tackling on this or falling on this, it's going to give the, the grass will give absorption as well as the, the foam underneath. So lots of options with the Delamar roll mat. We custom make them to size and thickness and color. You can put logos on it. There's lots of little other options. It comes with Flexi Connect, which is the Velcro system, or without the Velcro system. Um, some people prefer without the Velcro. Some people prefer, want the instant setup of the Velcro. The Velcro takes a little more care. If you're getting the Velcro system, you gotta make sure that you just unroll it rather than rip it up apart. 
um, when, when tearing it up. Uh, you have to make sure you do that because there has been incidences where people tear it off and the Velcro is so strong that it will pull the, vel the vinyl off of the foam if you pull it in the wrong direction. If you just set it up the way it's supposed to be set up, just roll it out, it's great. It's great for a fast setup. Oh, and another thing I want to mention, if you go with the Dolomar uh, two inch, uh, the clubs we've sold them to have raved that the old guys love it and the kids love it. They can now do break fall because with two inches of, of protection, you can do harder throws. Um, and, and the old guys who bones are a little more fragile, they're, they're coming back to do, doing judo because they can handle it. They can handle a break fall on this. Handling a break fall on a traditional tatami, it's pretty tough. So it's good for the kids, it's good for the adults, especially if you go with the two inch. If you go to the one and a half inch, it's still great. Most of the, the tournaments are selling, we sell the two inch because of that extra protection. And, and I know that uh, with Judo Ontario, their tournament, which is now the Hatashta Open, it, they have five surfaces with the two inch and the injuries have reduced greatly because of that. So you're gonna, you're gonna actually reduce your injury in your club or, or at your tournament with the two inch. It makes a big difference. Um, now there was a slight compromise to that. It'll be a little bit softer. So meaning, which is what you want to, 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 to reduce your injuries, but it'll be, it's not quite as fast as a traditional tatami because the traditional tatami, uh, untraditional traditional tatami, um, is very hard uh, and, and firm. So your foot movement is very quick on that. So for Olympic level, world championship level, or elite tournament, you still probably want to go with the tatami surface. But for most, the roll surface is great. The, the flexi roll surface or the uh, dolomer uh, flexi roll surface. So that's the, um, the, the roll mats. Excellent, light, versatile. Uh, sets up very quickly and price-wise it's more expensive than a puzzle mat but it offers so much more and it's going to be about the same price as a tatami and we can go over that as well uh, but it's an excellent option and we're selling a lot of it especially to people who have temporary setups if you're going to go for a full-time setup it's then it's a split between tatami and the roll mat and we can go over that in a minute so let's talk about the tatami uh, mats. Now tatami mats, they, they often go by tatami mat or traditional tatami mat, when it's not really that traditional. Traditionally, they're made out of straw. Uh, I grew up uh, working out at my uncle's dojo on straw mats. They were dusty and they were maybe just a little bit better than falling on a cardboard box, but not much. They were quite, quite hard. Uh, and, you know, nowadays, you know, some martial artists will complain about mat burn. Well, they don't know mat burn until your face has been drawn across a, uh, a straw tatami. So, um, you know, and if really you're complaining about mat burn, maybe you should pick another sport because to me, you're being a little bit of a whiner, but that's just me. So, um, the tatami surface, the, 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 what is often known today as the tatami surface is um, a tatami mat. This is the traditional green, which we sell the most of because um, it sort of emulates what um, a straw mat looks like. It has a, a weave on the surface. Most people have seen this, much like uh, a straw mat. Um, and basically what it is, it's uh, the Daxatashta mat is a recycled foam wrapped in a heavy vinyl surface with a rubber on the bottom. So that's the, basically the general makeup of, a, uh, of most of these, this style mat. Um, and again, you know, we have tried other brands, but you know, you can learn from our screw ups and our mistakes. We've been in business 75 years. Uh, I grew up in a dojo pretty much all my life. 
Uh, but s making these, um, you'll know that you have to know that they might all look the same, but they perform entirely differently. There's a big difference between them. So, um, and we've made that mistake. We have sold them and refunded people entire mat areas because they have not performed as well as they should have. So, um, learn from our mistakes, invest in the best. Don't spend $5,000, $2,000, $20,000 on inferior mats. You just don't want to do that. You don't want to go there. I'm telling you now. So we have been selling this for uh, approximately 20 years. And we've, we've tried less expensive ones and we've tried um, competing ones. But this product is clearly the best. You know, I, uh, I, can't, ex I can't express that enough. That you do not want to save a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on your area and find out all the things that can go wrong. So I'll go over a few things that do go wrong with these tatami mats. Again, they all look the same. I can't tell the difference. And I've been around, I'm around them all day long. I can't tell the difference between, by looking at them, uh, an inferior one and the Dax attached to tatami. It's, it's hard for me to tell the difference. So I'm going to tell you what to look for. So, um, well, there's nothing to look for. They look the same. But here's some pointers. So what will happen is if you buy the inferior ones, the bonding process between the foam and the vinyl is imperative. If it's bonded poorly, which the less expensive brands are, you'll get bubbling across the surface. And you've probably seen, if you've been around to enough dojos, you might see that some mats are bubbling. Um, and that's caused because the bonding between the foam and the vinyl has, is, is, is a poor job. All right. So that's, that's one of the main problems. Okay. That's one of the first things you'll see when you buy an inferior mat after six months, you'll see this bubbling across the top and there's really not much you can do about it. You can try to suck the air out or inject some epoxy into the bubble or something like that, but really forget it. It's, it's done. You pull the mat out, replace your surface, whatever, or just live with this bubble in your perfect mat area that you spent five or $10,000 investing in. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, the other things that we see is that the vinyl will crack. Uh, poor vinyl quality will crack after um, some time um, and you'll get cracking along the edges. Um, and this seems like a weird thing, but the, these come in one by two meter uh, pieces and there's a tolerance for the foam to be, you know, uh, a few millimeters out. But what you'll find in less expensive mats is that tolerance is quite high. So if you're out by, say, a quarter centimeter on a mat, that's fine when it's one mat. But if you're setting up an entire area, by the time you multiply that by 10, um, you've got a big gap to fill at the end. And normally it doesn't end up at the end. It'd be two mats in, you've got a big gap to fill because the the, the mat consistency is far off on a less expensive brand. So um, don't go for the, don't shop for these on price. And I get it all day long. Well, they're cheaper. I go, you know, this is a made in Germany product. This is a Mercedes Benz. And you're comparing, you know, the competing less expensive brand um, to a, you know, a, a, a Kia. Well, Nobody ever goes to a car dealer, to the Mercedes dealer and says, you know what, the key is down the street, you know, they're only $22,000. Why is yours 60,000? You know, I want it for 22,000, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, the difficulty is that they all look the same. So you're not shopping apples to apples. So another, another thing that uh, can go wrong with these is that the rubber on the bottom, uh, the Dax attached to mats are very, uh, are, are thicker and more durable. You can get cheap rubber um, and you can get good rubber. And this is the highest quality rubber that you can get. And if you notice here, you maybe can't see it, but these are all sealed seams. So it's basically impenetrable once this is made. So these seams have all been heat sealed and, and so moisture is not going to get in. You're not going to have any problems with mold and 
again, when it, if, if this starts cracking on the edges or on the surface, on the, less, you know, on the less expensive ones, that's where moisture gets in, that's where bacteria gets in, and that's where your club, all of a sudden everybody's getting ringworm uh, because bacteria will hold in these. And so that's about it. Um, and keep in mind that, you know, if you, as you can see here, this is uh, a foam that's recycled. That's we use recycled foam to make this. And it comes in different densities. So um, we sell a 240 density, which we feel is the optimum uh, mat, uh, the density of the foam. Uh, 240 is a measure of 240, 240 kilograms per cubic meter of foam. So we use 240. It's a fast surface, so it's, it's, it's firm. This is not by no means soft, and if you're not, if you know, if you don't know how to fall, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard fall. Um, so we use 240 uh, um, uh, kilogram per meter density. It's a, it's a matter of density, but it's basically a measure of weight um, because it's firm, it's absorbent, um, it's fast. Now there are if you are a, um, a mil the military or the police forces, we actually supply the RCMP with a higher, we supply them with a, a higher density mat, a 300. So it's a very firm mat. And what they're trying to emulate is, is, is um, being on the streets. So they're training their officers uh, in Regina on our mats with, um, a 300 density. It's a very firm, hard mat. It's soft enough to land on, perhaps, and they're actually using their shoes on it sometimes and their boots. Um, so they wanted, their request was to use a very firm mat. Um, and so we supplied that to them specifically, but I wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless it's a specific application like that. We can custom order and custom make it for you. Um, but Otherwise, the 240 seems to work with everybody and is, is, is a perfect um, combination of firmness, speed, and, and uh, softness for you know, beginners. So that's what we, we, uh, that's what we make and 99% of the mats that we supply are that and people are quite happy with, with, with that. Um, uh, and I also want to emphasize that, again, this is made, these are made in Germany mats, and they always have been and always will be. Um, they're engineered. The Germans are, Germany is famous for, for the engineering. And even though it's a relatively simple product, vinyl, vinyl wrap foam, how hard can that be? But it does make a difference. And we've learned the hard way that, you know, when we're making something, we want to use the best. You don't want to invest in something that's, that's going to fall apart. These will last, and as far as investment goes, um, these will last 10 years easily, and they're, they're warranted. Um, but I've seen these mats last 20 years. So the original containers that we supplied, they're still around. We, the original uh, shipment of mats are still in use today. I mean, that's amazing. And not only that, the resale value on this, Think of it this way, if you're investing in these and five years down the line, even 10 years down the line, you could still get mm, at the least 50% of your investment, but at the most, maybe 80% of your investment, depending on what condition they're in and how old they are and how you've been treating them. Um, but you look at a dojo that laid these down 10 years ago and they look great. So that's another a great benefit to the tatami. They look great for a long time. They will look not new. I can't know nothing's going to look new after 10 years. But after 10 years of use, of hard use, of everyday commercial use, these will look good. And you want to sell them off, you can get easily 50% of your investment. There's not too many things in this world um, that you could use every day for 10 years. Not your car, not your couch, um, not your stereo, n not too many things that you invest in. Even a piece of jewelry drops by 50% the day you use it because who wants to buy an old used engagement ring? Not too many people. I know that from experience. So 
um, I used to be in the jewelry business, or my family grew up in the jewelry business as well. So that's I, uh, not because I've been divorced many times and had to sell off my rings, but the uh, the resale value on jewelry is very low. So anyway, with it, as far as an investment, the tatami is a great investment. So you can think of it as leasing it for 10 years at 50% of its cost, maybe even only 25% of its cost. I mean, that's it's a great investment in that regard. You can always get your money, some money out of a tatami and there's always demand. We get people calling every day for used mats. So you can always turn around and sell it. It's, and at worst, you sell it to your, um, to your students. Students are always happy to take a two or four of them home to have their own dojo. So that's a, something you have to consider that, that it might be a lot of money at the beginning uh, to set up your dojo, but there's always a retained value there. Don't forget about that. It's not like you've thrown that money away and it's, and it's gone forever. You know, it's not gonna depreciate like your 10 year old um, Honda or uh, you know, Forerunner that's worth a fraction. These will always retain their value, some value. And rarely do they ever go to the dump unless they've, you know, a flood or whatever. But rarely do they ever go to the dump and they're a great investment. Um, I also want to mention that, so they come in different surfaces. There is a, the tatami and what we call smooth, which isn't really smooth. It still has enough grip. You'll never say, you'll never slip on these. Um, even though they're called smooth, you'll never slip on them. They still have enough foot traction um, that, but for people that are doing more grappling, more BJJ, lots of BJJ clubs are using these, um, or MMA clubs will use these um, because they don't want that, they're afraid of mat burn on this. Again, uh, I beg to differ, um, but you know we supply what the market wants and the market wants something smoother. So we sell a lot of to the BJJ community with this or the MMA community. And they do come in thinner, but 99.9% .9 of the mats we sell are this thick, the 40 millimeter, uh, one and a half inch. Um, and um, you know, there's no need to go thinner. The only th reason you would go thinner if you wanted a karate club Karate club, we have sold them thinner to karate clubs that want the tatami surface and they like this model, but they just want something firmer without any absorption at all. It's very firm if you go thinner than this. But most clubs, even a karate club, even a stand-up sparring club or a Muay Thai or a Taekwondo club will go with, a, with this 40 millimeter because they can offer um, their dojo to other sports. So if you're a karate club and you've got Friday evenings open or you've got Saturday afternoons open, you know, chances are there's an Aikido club or a Judo club or, uh, or um, a community of self-defense people that want to use your, your dojo space. And this is more um, suitable. So you'll get a lot more use out of a tatami surface because anybody can use it. Taekwondo, Karate, Judo, BJJ, pretty much any martial art can use this mat. And that's why um, it's so popular with, in, amongst in the martial art combat sport community because it's, the, it's so versatile. Um, uh, and back to tournaments, we still do sell these to tournaments, uh, but it takes a big effort to lay them down. You know, you're laying down, you know, literally hundreds of these in order to make your surface. Uh, we do sell them to the tournaments, but again, it's, it's, it's a lot of work to, to lay them down. Most are going towards the roll mats. It's a lot easier to lay down. Now we supply the Pan Am Games in Toronto with these mats. Um, so they had a very stringent um, selection process and they chose our mats um, after they tested, I, I believe many different, different models, uh, different brands but the reputation of our Dax Hatashta mats is impeccable, frankly, not to brag, but you know, we supply the Canadian Armed Forces, we supply um, Canadian Border Services, the RCMP, and many, many clubs across the country. And again, it, it's, it's uh, not to brag, but I think that the quality speaks for itself that, that, that you don't want to invest in something that's going to fall apart. And we're here 
we're gonna we're not going anywhere we've been here for 75 years we're not going anywhere we'll be here to support it if, if you have any problems uh, colors wise um, I've got there's yellow which has become popular with uh, amongst the judo community because uh, the IJF International Judo Federation is using yellow uh, I think for viewing it makes it easy to see um, there's the traditional green blue um, gray red black all of them are available lots we have in stock we've got pretty much every color in the rainbow and we can custom make other colors for you uh, these take a little bit longer to get because um, they'll take probably anywhere from two two to three months to make a custom mat um, but in stock we often have a good supply literally hundreds maybe possibly thousands of the Tommy mats uh, available to ship right away so we're we're usually pretty well stocked if you have any questions please give us a call uh, we know our stuff here we've been in business a long time and remember you're, you're buying the seller we've been in business we know what's good uh, we've made our mistakes take advantage of all the mistakes that we've made you can learn from them uh, we only sell the best uh, we don't mess around with selling the crappy cheap stuff it's just not worth our time um, and hopefully you know there's better value to you in, in the long run as well